Hello group, Jeff here. I like to uh, scour the interwebs and look for neat little tools that I can use to help me with my uh, astronomy needs. And one of the tools that I always was on the hunt for was something uh, that Dewey showed. And Dewey, by the way, where are you? We miss you, buddy. Uh, for his astrophysics mount that he got maybe one or two years ago. And uh, it's basically a 3D viewer representation of his mount. So whenever he moves the mount, or he could be indoors and just load this tool. And as the mount moves, it moves in this tool or viewer. And I looked and looked and looked and finally found one uh, this week. And I've tried it out. Seems to work. I haven't done it at night yet. But the reason why I want one is uh, I now view from in the garage. And my, my gear uh, is about 60 to 80 feet from where I'm uh, actually sitting. And I'm behind a, uh, a cover so that the light, uh, any light that the monitors and stuff like that is making stays away from, from the gear. So uh, what I want to do now is show you what I've got. I've got the CGX mount with the Raza, my mini PC, which is controlling the mount, and I'm connected to the mini PC through Ethernet. And uh, this machine here is remote desktop into the mini PC. So let's get going. What I'll do is I'll show you the uh, location. I'll put a link for this tool in the description below the video uh, so that if you're interested, you can pick it up. So it is called, uh, there's, there's two versions. Uh, of this software, if you have a Skywatcher mount or an Orion mount, you need to get the GS server along with the GPS, or I'm sorry, the GS point 3D. I just got the GS point 3D because I, I'm going to be controlling everything for, through ASCON, and I have the latest version, this one right here. So I've already downloaded it. And it's right here. I have already fired up uh, CPWI because I need CPWI for the Comsport Hub. Uh, this connects through ASCOM and uh, to the mount, and it will assign CPWI assigns uh, different COM ports to devices that try to connect to the mount. So what I've got here is just a quick align and you'll see if i move any of these the mounts moving which is it's a good thing so what i'll do is i'll start the gs point uh, 3d viewer and what the first thing you have to do is go to the hamburgers and uh I've already done this, but you would go into select and then pick your mount in the ASCOM dropdown. I'm picking the CPWI. Then you connect. I left everything default except for I picked a Schmidt Cassadian because this is the closest they have to uh, the row Ackerman here. So I'll connect. I'll go back and you'll see that you can move around the viewer. You can reset the viewer. So what I kind of do is I like to set up this so that it's actually pointing the way the mounts would be pointing when I'm looking above my cart here. And what I'll do is I'll just do a slew. And you can see that as the uh, mount is turning, so is the 3D uh, 
representation of my scope. It's got a few glitches, but I'm not complaining. This is this is perfect. What I, and the reason why I would want this is that uh, when I get close to the meridians, uh, whether it's on the east or the west side, I've got, uh, especially with the C-14, I have some stuff that's hanging kind of low that could crash them out. So I have uh, conservative, very conservative limits on my meridian flips and, uh, or not necessarily meridian flips, but when the mount will just stop moving because of my my conservative limits. So by looking at this, I can then tell roughly how close I am to where I'm going to start getting in trouble with my conservative limits. And if I do a home, we'll just go home. We can see that the uh, She's now home. Now it's not a perfect tool, but the nice thing about the tools is it's free and it's open source. So as more people that uh, can program start to use tools like this, it will get better. It would be nice if something like this was integrated right into Nina, but it isn't. And uh, in the interim, this works. <laughs> you can pick, uh, now, when it gets to, to zero, zero, it, it has a little trouble every now and then. So all I have to do is move it. Oops, let me reset this. There we go. When it gets to zero, zero, it has a hard time knowing where it is in relation to, in the 3D world. So it gets confused every now and then. And 90% of the time being at zero, zero, with the mount is going to be when I'm first starting because I'll be at the home positions or when I'm setting or tearing down for the night, I put the scope back into the home position. And at that point, I don't care. So uh, this little tool is something that I think all you guys and gals can use if you are so inclined, uh, especially if you are uh, uh, remote. Uh, something like this is a godsend. I'm not really that f far remote because I can still see my scopes, but it's dark. <laughs> and this will give me a better clue as to what my mounts are doing than trying to shine a light out onto the mounts while they're imaging to figure out what's going on. So I hope you find this tool useful, and uh, we'll see you in the group. Thanks.